Today, we're going to sign a Windows application. So what is code signing? Code signing is a process of digitally signing an executable to confirm the software author and guarantee that this piece of software has not been tampered with. Um, it uses a cryptographic hash, uh, kind of similar with other um, hashes that are used, for example, for TLS. So what are the benefits of code signing? So first, user trust, right? The users download the application, they see that it's been signed by you. And since they see that it's been signed by you, they know it has not been tampered with. Um, no one else has introduced any malicious code into it. And then when the user updates your software, they see that the update also has uh, the same author. So they know the update is authentic. And then Windows Defender or other, other antivirus software are less likely to uh, false fire if the code has been signed and there's been a reputation buildup, meaning like a lot of people have used the software. So for a while, um, there will not be any uh, false positives uh, by Windows Defender. So roughly, what is the code signing process for Windows? So first, you would have to obtain a signing certificate. It can be purchased online from DigiCert or other vendors, or it can be uh, a self-signed certificate, right, generated internally, which is uh, often done by organizations distributing the software for internal use only, right? They distribute the software and they also distribute the uh, certificate authority uh, on all their, uh, company machines. So obtain the certificate, then we run an application to sign the code. We make sure it's timestamped and it's important to timestamp um, the signature because timestamping the signature says that at this point in time, when we timestamp the signature, this certificate was valid, right? So years down the line, if you want to use the same software, it knows that at the time of the timestamp, this software was valid. So it'll, it'll, um, <clears throat> You, you can guarantee that this piece of software is still, is still good. Um, after you sign, you distribute the code and users can uh, verify the signature using tools or just, uh, you know, poking around, which I'll show in a second. Okay. So let's start with the certificate. So for this example, we're going to use a self-signed certificate. So let's go ahead and generate our certificate. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to be uh, using a Mac to generate the certificates just to show you um, both that you can you can do this flow on a different computer besides Windows. Uh, and this is a script and I'm using OpenSSL. So I create a certificate authority, um, a certificate authority with uh, its own certificate and a key. And this certificate authority will generate the certificate for code signing, right? Uh, and the code signing certificate also has a uh, certificate and a key. So let me go ahead and run this script. Gen certs. Okay. And we generate the certificate so we can see what files we generated. We got the CA certificate authority certificate and key. And then we got the code signing certificate and key. Okay. So we got the certificate generated. Um, now we're going to use an application. So we're going to use a simple, uh, go application hello world application so you can see what it is it's just prints hello world hello windows code signing so let's build this build this application and we're going to build it using the script and we specify the uh, operating system as windows and the architecture is amd64 so let's go ahead and build this um, pe stands for portable executable um, is term frequently used for Windows executables. Okay, for signing the code, for actually signing the code, we're gonna use uh, a tool called OSS, OSSL Sign Code, and it's an open source tool, and that does the, uh, the signing. As it says, it implements a part of the functionality of the Microsoft tool called SignTool.exe, but the benefit of using this OSSL Sign Code is that it is cross-platform, right? So we're going to be running it on the Mac. You can also run it on Linux. You can even run it on Windows. Um, so it's just good to have a tool that is easier into, to integrate into your um, CI, CD pipelines. 
Okay, so what the script, what script exactly we're gonna run? So this is the script uh, code side windows. Um, basically, we're gonna take an input, the input file. We're gonna make sure it's a portable executable. Then we're gonna make sure also cell sign code is installed. Um, on Mac, you can install it with Homebrew. Uh, there's other ways to install it. Um, this is just checks that it's installed. And then this is the command that actually runs, right? It takes our assigning certificate and assigning key, um, gives it a name, and there's a, you can provide a website address, and then we do timestamp, right? That's timestamp, as I mentioned, we use the, uh, the Komodo CA uh, timestamp server, and then we, uh, it generates a new file, right? So it's not, the same file generates a new file. So you will use a new file, which will be your, your new signed executable. So let's go ahead and run this. This was called, what they call it? Code sign windows, code sign windows. Of course I have to provide uh, the executable, which is hello world.exe, which was built in the previous step. Okay, so our hello world exe is signed. Now we can run these uh, OSSL sign code again to verify it. And I can manually run it. I have a script here that can run it or I just can, can just run this. And we point to our certificate authority here, right? Because certificate authority is what guarantees that the code signing certificate is valid. And then we do that and point to our file, which is um, hello world.exe. And we're good. The signature has been verified. There's details here. Okay, so we signed it. We verified with OSSL sign uh, code. So let's distribute uh, distribute this application. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this onto my Windows machine. I have a handy shortcut. I'm just gonna go copy the whole directory because I will need the certificate authority as well. So let's see. And I copied the files. So let's go to our Windows machine. We got code sign windows. We have uh, our executable here. Let's see. Uh, hello world code, si code signing, it's working. Uh, let's go here and verify the signature. Here's our executable. We're gonna right click properties, digital signature, and we look at the details, and we have our digital signature. As you notice, there's a big X here, right? The integrity cannot be guaranteed. Why is it cannot be guaranteed? Because Windows currently does not know about the um, certificate authority, the CA, because we generate the CA ourselves. Um, now, what we can do is we can add the CA that we created to the Windows root certificate store. And I have the script here, right? Import certificate and then our uh, certificate authority and we go to the root certificate store. So let's run this, right? And we imported it. So now Windows knows about the CA and then can use that CA to verify um, this certificate that was used to sign our executable. So now let's go back. Let's go right click properties, and digital signatures, yes, details. And now it says this digital signature is okay, right? So this is a, this is a use case for testing. Also, this is a use case for an internal application, right? You create an application for your company only used internally um, you distribute the application, but you also have to make sure that the machines that are using your applications have your certificate authority installed. Um, what else do we want to cover? Um, I think we want to just mention that um, for a public application, you will need to get it from DigiCert and um, the latest industry standards require you to use a hardware security module. 
Um, this means it's either a dongle or a chip in your computer that has to be present and that has to store your certificate key. Um, now, this is kind of a challenging if you're using like a continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. So there are cloud HSM vendors such as uh, Google HSM and others ones. DigiCert has their own uh, um, their own cloud HSM solution and other vendors. So you could um, purchase one of these cloud HSM, store your key there, and then via the API um, sign sign your application that way. So in a in a future article, um, I am planning to cover that. Uh, once, once, uh, once I get it working uh, uh, with my with my software. All right. Thanks for watching.